Hi, uh, this video is to is meant for people who have purchased a Grateful Dead time machine without a Raspberry Pi, but with a case. So this is to show how to put the two things together. So uh, this is your Raspberry Pi 3A Plus, which you got from somewhere, maybe you already had, and this is the Grateful Dead time machine in a case. Voila. Comes like this. This is the back of the case. Yours may look slightly different, but basically this is the idea. Now, it also has this small bag which has a little bit of hardware in it. The most important piece of this is the SD card, which is in a small little plastic bag. Take the SD card out and plug it into the Raspberry Pi 3A Plus. It goes on the back like that. Make sure it's plugged in firmly. It doesn't go, you know, flush. It's like that. Um, next, we're going to want to put the Raspberry Pi into the time machine. Um, it comes with these two little standoffs uh, with nuts. These are screwed on. So I'm going to take these nuts off. And I'm going to plug the Raspberry Pi into the connector. These 40 pins here go into these, this 40 pin connector here. I usually just do it kind of from the top like so. Now notice I'm holding these screws in place so they don't fall out. Um, basically there, just press it. Get a good and kind of get the uh, standoffs there so the Raspberry Pi plugs in and then I take these two nuts put them back on to the Raspberry Pi like so I'll get this other one started just so that the screw doesn't fall out. If the screw does fall out, well, you just put it back. You have to be a little careful getting the um, uh, getting the standoff back in between the Raspberry Pi and the time machine. But none of this is actually crucial. This is just the mechanical parts. Now those screws are started. There's also a couple of black nuts, black plastic nuts that go onto the other side. They don't really have to go on either side. I mean, whatever, I just, that's how I do it because it matches. Uh, so like I say, there's really nothing magical here. This is just holding the Raspberry Pi secure. If you don't do this, it will work but uh, I don't advise you not to screw it on, just for your own sake. Um, next is the back of the time machine. So the orientation with the time machine at the top here, turn it around. This should look like a steal your face. So kind of pointing to the right. There are four screws. I usually lean it off the edge of the table when I'm doing this couple of these little black screws here. I'm not going to do this right now because um, because once you put these in there they're kind of they cut their own threads and I don't want to do it but basically put them in the corners tighten. Again this step is not absolutely necessary and that pretty much is how you do it. Now you have what you would have got if you had bought this with the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is attached you're going to plug the power, the USB power cable into this little gizmo here. You're going to plug your audio out to this headphone jack, or you could plug in your HDMI if you want to do that, but we'll handle that in a separate video. This is just how to get your time machine in a case without a Pi connected to the Raspberry Pi that you have. All right, that's it. Thanks.